It's proved to be the most dramatic season ever on The Bachelor, and this could be the most dramatic segment ever on live. Please welcome Colton and Cassie. Smiling last, I mean, yes. last time I saw your face, you were in tears and crying and very emotional. <laughs> Cassie, yeah. I can honestly say this is the first time I've ever seen you, and you seem very lovely. Oh, thank you. Um, as, you, you too. as I'm sure Colton has warned you, I'm not a big fan of The Bachelor. <laughs> not um, Colton, just not the Colton, concept. Not Colton, just the concept yeah. of it. Um, but she she did give some some guiding principles on the show, and I feel like Colton, you heard those principles, and you sort of broke the whole format. Yeah, you know, while, while we were going through all of this, I had Kelly on my shoulder, so. Yes. Uh, and in my heart. Screaming, so. run, jump over the fence, and keep going. You want to know why I so jumped over the fence? I, I mean, you, yeah. Were you sitting in a car on the other side of the fence? Were you on the other side? No, you know who was no. on the other side? I had no the idea. ABC lawyers, right? <laughs> Am I right? The ABC lawyers are on the other side, and they said, you better get back over that fence. Oh, boy. Come only on, if you tell knew. me. Tell only me if you knew. Who's on the other side of the fence? Nothing. He I just wanted to escape. I kid right? you not. I started. I started running. <laughs> so, yeah. Cole, just to, Cassie, I should ask you this: Was it because this was he had to really pursue you after you said you weren't ready to take that that step? Um, were you not feeling him? Was there not a, a vibe? No, for him? I was. I just. I feel like I didn't have enough time to get to a place where I was ready to make a lifelong commitment. Because, like, I thought I was going to have more time going into it, and. I didn't, and I had wanted him to have that. It, you had never seen The Bachelor before? <laughs> no, I had seen it, but okay. it was a lot different than I expected, I guess. Uh -huh. I guess I thought I'd have more time, but when, I mean, we only had like two dates. When so. did you first look into Colton's eyes and say, I love you? <laughs> That's a good question. Hmm. I mean, I told him that night, and <laughs> I told him pretty much like the week after. As soon filming, as the cameras went away. Yeah. As soon as the cameras, as soon as, really. like, the cameras went away, and that was something like yeah. even for me, I was sensing in our relationship. You know, everybody's has their opinions of what I should have done, but I'm in the one that's in the relationship, and I felt like. It was one of those moments that it's bigger than the show itself. Like, you were like, I just need to our, get her away I just from... need to get out of this for us. And yeah, it was I like just, a lot of pressure yeah. knowing the end and be like, I have to get there or else I can't be in this. And it so was how just long have you been dating in, in real life? Well, we're, we argue... We're trying to figure out when That's like it our started. only thing we fight about. <laughs> it's like, is it the night she came out of limo? Yes, is it of course. our first one-on-one or is it... Limo Spain. night. Limo night is where you really you gotta go even though there's 29 other. See? Of <laughs> course. I mean, listen, it's like it's like um. Uh, well, I, I mean, I hate to use another <laughs> reality show. It's the survivor of dating, right? You outlived, outlasted, outsmarted. <laughs> you really did outsmart. Because this proves a theory. Guys want what they can't have, right? Am I right? You were, no, oh, no, no, this is true. You can, you can like half cheer all that all you want, but that is really true because you sort of dangled the carrot and then you vanished. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's jumping over the fence. Next thing you know, the Disney lawyers are in a limo chasing him. <laughs> And here we all are. Well, the great, <laughs> the great irony, the, the great, the great irony is in celebration. She's holding all of the roses right now. 